Our dogs, they belong to our, our good friend. He's a three-time I did our finisher, a guy named Riley Dice. But, um, but we'll go over there and meet those guys uh, after we after we're in here. Uh, and you guys can find Dota Stable. She's hardest up, ready to go for a run. By kicking and ski point as well. But if we come to a hill or a mountain to like for example, part of the Iditarod race, it does go up and over the Alaskan mountain range. I'm gonna place these right back inside there. That way I can step off and help my dogs push it up that hill. Now running, walking, hill climbing, it can get a little bit interesting for us out there because these are the boots that we wear. Oh. <laughs> kind of like a, like a Lady Gaga Jean Simmons on or something. <laughs> Um, but these boots, they're, they're not too bad. Uh, they only weigh about two or three pounds each. Just as you guys can see, they're, they're a little bit bulky. I wore a smaller version of this boot for my I did run race in their feet. What happens though is as my dogs are running, their feet will heat up and start to sweat. That sweat can then cause snowballs in between their pads. It's like our version of having rocks in our shoes. For our dogs, it can lead to splits or abrasions. And also, they will always wear these on their feet, not just in racing, but also all winter training, they will always have these on. This is my son's hand, so you scratch up that.